Hi everyone, my name is Juno, I have a health science background, and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about why the INFJ MBTI personality type often feels alienated. Well, one of the first uh, uh, self-evident aspect of the person being an INFJ is that they are the rarest type. So obviously, you know, it makes sense. I mean, if you look in history, the people who do identify as INFJ, we're talking about, you know, Muhammad Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Jesus Christ, Buddha, Krishna. I mean, it, it, we know intuitively that we're not going to, you know, <laughs> as I said often, uh, go to the grocery store and stumble on Jesus or Buddha. I mean, so so although they say that's one percent of population who uh, is an INFJ, uh, based on on just basic logic uh, and my own observation, I think it's much less than that. Maybe one in a million or even less. So again, if a person is truly an INFJ, they will know <laughs> deep down that okay, I've not met someone like me like probably all my life. Uh, the other aspect when it comes to the INFJ is that they are a combination of the four main personality types. So they have characters of the center judges. So they'll see, like as I said in one of the uh, videos, is that the ISFJ is very similar to the INFJ in terms of their function stack. So when an INFJ spends time with sensor judges, they will feel that, okay, there's some characters that, that, that understand. For example, obviously they're both judges, so they're reliable, reachable, they don't like change at the last minute. Uh, they're, they can be uh, very much uh, like hard workers, uh, and they're people who like to follow through. So uh, with a judger, you know that the task will be completed on time. And that is something that INFJ really uh, appreciates and, and also uh, that's a behavior that they have. So they will feel a sense of uh, connectiveness with the center judges. But the issue with the, the center judges is that they have a, a beta brainwaves. So it's about 15 to 7, 16 cycles per second, their dominant brainwaves, whereas the INFJ has a theta brain dominance. So they are at opposite ends. And if the INFJ spends time with the center judges, they will feel drained because it's such a great difference in energy and the energy is very much linked to a person's uh, dominant brain waves. So the other aspect is that the INFJ is not traditional. Although they have cares of the center judges, they will feel, okay, I don't want to, uh, let's say, uh, pursue a particular career or, or organize my life a certain way because it's been done in the past because the INFJ is about the abstract future. So they will feel sort of not connected with center judges because of that. When it comes to, let's say, the INFJ spending time with center perceivers is that obviously Obviously, the center perceivers are, um, you know, have a different organizational side. They have a spontaneous way of organizing their lives. And the INFJ likes reliable, reachable, uh, you know, well uh, organized people. And they will feel like the disconnect. But they will very much appreciate the fact that the center perceivers are creative, open minded. Uh, they are inclusive in terms of their their philosophy. So this is something that they like. They like the the, the optimism of the sense of perceivers. So again, they will spend time with sense of perceivers and they'll say, well, I feel you know connected, but there's another aspect of me that is not being fulfilled. And the other point when it comes to sense of perceivers is that they do have better energy than sense of judges. So the INFJ can spend more time with the sense of perceiver, but yet feel that another aspect of them, the judge aspect and also the intuitive aspect is not being sort of like, you know, addressed. No. So when the INFJ spends time with the into thinkers is that they will appreciate that their intuitiveness, their, 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 their intelligence, uh, the fact that they're future oriented. The INFJ being the most logical of the intuitive feelers will be able to uh, understand the intuitive thinkers, but the other aspects of them that again will not be fulfilled. For example, the INFJ is uh, the creative and, and artistic uh, sort of type. So they, uh, they, you, you mean, think about the intuitive thinkers, they're more about the abstract of the concrete. They're not about, let's say, uh, you know, creative writing or poetry. This is not the era of expertise. So the INFJ will not feel that they can fulfill that aspect of themselves. Now, when it comes to spending time with, let's say, into feelers, an INFJ obviously, you know, is, is officially that type. But uh, the other aspect in terms of the INFJ is probably the least traditional, the most, let's say, uh, forward thinking compared to the intuitive feelers. And also the INFJ is the most logical. Mine is that when it comes to the intuitive feelers, that they are divided into two groups. One are the intuitive feelers who are judges, so the INFJ and the ENFJ, and then you have the, the perceivers who are the INFP and the ENFP. The INFJ will probably get along better with the ENFJ, but the challenge is that the ENFJ 
is very much uh, like too much in the from the heart. So they're they're thinking from the, the fourth one. So the INFJ will feel that the ENFJ and the intuitive feelers in general don't have proper boundaries when it comes to their uh, uh, relationships, and they are basically being taken advantage of. So that also will be something that the INFJ will struggle with. So in other words, when the INFJ spends time with a person, unless this person is also an INFJ, they uh, always feel that this is a part of them that is not being fulfilled. And the other point is that the INFJ has the best energy of all the 16 personality types. So there is a feeling of being drained and the INFJ personality type being a useful healer is able to feel energy, read energy, so they know very early on when they interact with a person who this individual is. So I think that is part of the reason why the INFJ is so much an introvert and they are the most introvert of all the six percent because they feel so uh, different from others. So spending time alone is a sense of relief and they're not being reminded of how different they are from people around them. So let me know if you agree or disagree with the content of this video by commenting below. If you like this video, if you learned something, please click on the like button. Also remember to click on the notification bell to be notified of other videos I'm going to be making. Subscribe to my channel and we will talk soon.